What up, y'all? I'm out here at the Carvet. Just kind of give you a little heads up of what's been going on. I went to one of my little spots the other day. I caught four. And uh, that was it. No monsters, though. It's pretty much the volume two of Trophy Bass. I've been trying to do this for a couple weeks now. I just ain't really hit the time. And then the weather's been crap, as you can see. Still got dark clouds in the air. Uh, my buddy, George, who y'all seen in some of my other videos, he caught a six pounder out of City Park. And here's the picture right there. So congrats to him. He caught it on a frog. So congrats to him. Nah, uh, I'm still after mine. I'm still after my six plus. So hopefully today that'll happen. Fishing with a little plum worm that you see right here, the purple one, and a little crankbait. A little shallow diving crankbait, usually after a rain. It's usually pretty good here. So Let's see, hopefully we can get something. First cast. See what we can do. I like burning this crankbait. Want to bang it off some structure. I know they got a stump here. So that's what I like to do. I like to bang it right here on this stump. Yep, got a piece of stick. That's how you know you're doing what you need to do. Getting up in that structure. Keep getting hung up on this trash. I love this rod. This is actually one of my favorite rods. Maybe just crank it slow. Oh, got a fish. Got a fish. There we go. There we go. Right on cue, baby. Got a crankbait fish. That's what I wanted, but not the size I wanted. There we go. This is about the same size I caught the other day. Little dinks. I need bigger ones. Try to replicate what I did before. I wasn't burning it like I normally do. I was just slow cranking it. Just slow cranking it like this. Rod tip down, letting it hit the structure. Oh, and there we go. Right then and there. Oh, good thing. <laughs> All right, buddy, come on. There you go. Hey, look at that. Didn't even have to release it. Release itself. But usually they want a fast crank here, but it seems like today they just want to crank real slow. But that's a two, I call it two fish in like a couple minutes. If y'all want to know exactly what bait I'm fishing with, take a little bluegill color. H2O Express Academy. So for y'all that don't think those baits work and you got to buy them expensive baits, it's not true. As you can see, I caught two fish within like two minutes. I literally just got here. I figured it would be probably pretty good. Once, uh, once it rains over here, usually the water's kind of pouring out of there. It gives them a little current in here. This is all landlocked, so the only opening they have is to the intercoastal, so that's pretty much what it is. I'm just hoping for a monster. The biggest bass I ever caught actually came from the Colbert, so came right out here. Just hoping for a big one. I missed a few big ones in this canal before. Just bad luck was in my way. And then, you know, this place gets a lot of fishing pressure too, so sometimes they want to like a little jerk pause or reel as fast as you can and just like it's scurrying away from a predator. Sometimes they, like today, they just want to kind of slow roll, just slow rolled and maybe even just stop it for a half second, stop it. Sometimes I even put my rod in the water like this to make sure I'm getting down to knocking that structure pretty good. There we go. Huh. God, it's a dink fest today. <laughs> little babies. Exactly what that is. Little, little bitty babies. Baby. Hold on. Oh, little baby fish. Oh, he come off. Damn it. Well, it wasn't a monster, so it's not something that I'm terribly, terribly disappointed in. I hate losing fish, so it doesn't really matter what it is, but he was probably the biggest one of all, all the ones that I had today so far. So, I mean, which ain't saying much because probably about the biggest one I caught today is probably about a pound. So maybe this one was like a quarter, like a pound and a quarter, so. Well, just lost my crankbait, so. I'm gonna change it up. 
like this uh, Texas chiclet color. They're actually, the Texas chiclets kind of look like this color almost, except they're a little darker, but they got the blue spots on them. All right, here we go. There we go. That's like the third bite in a row I had on this bait, but all dinks. Dink, dink, dink. Dink fest. The Rugaru, the king of the dinks. The king of the dinks. I mean, a baby. Not what I want, but they tearing it up. Maybe this little brighter color they like. I don't know. As soon as it hits the damn water, they tearing it up. Kind of hard to go away from something when you're getting all these bites. Like I said, I throw it out there sometimes and I stop it and I jerk it and I got another one. Look at that. Look at that little baby. Another little baby. Just that quick. I'm out here slaying them. Just not the big ones. I mean, literally, almost every cast. I'm getting them. So just like a little medium retrieve, just like this. And then I had a couple little taps on that one, but he didn't get it. I love this rod and reel combo. It's more of the rod than anything. It flings that bait out there so far and it doesn't transmit the bite too quick for me. So I get a nice little hookup on them. And they hungry, hungry, hungry. Because look, they're getting the front hook on this thing. All right, he actually got it out mostly for me now. There we go, a tiny one. Got some pretty blue on his face though. I'm gonna give this one a rest for a second. I'm gonna go with this plum worm. Unweighted, Texas rigged. Gotta hide the hook. Hopefully we can get one. Nothing on the first cast. I'm gonna give this one a rest for a second. I'm gonna go with this plum worm. Unweighted, Texas rigged. Gotta hide the hook. The other day we was fishing with this shad type bait. And this is what we were doing pretty much. We was throwing it out there, let it sink. And there we go. That's the nicest one so far. Little fat chunky bass. Like the worm ain't cutting it. We're gonna go back to the bomber because I was getting a lot of bites on that. And that's what I want to fish with. So I caught one on the worm, caught majority of the bass on the crankbait. Going back down, third bait out. I really think that it's chasing minnows or with this dirty water. There we go. Got one. See, look at that. You make the right choice. But look at that. It's a baby. Another baby. Wouldn't that be crazy? A big old giant bass just come and hit it. Boom! He's lit up. He got a lot of blue on him. Boom! In the water. There we go. Another one. Just like that. Look at that. There we go. Another baby. Like I said, it's pretty lights out, so it makes me happy to catch this many bass because lately I ain't had the time to go. And when I did have the time to go, this wasn't the best of days. I was gonna take my kayak out this morning, but it looks like I'm gonna take it out this evening. I'm gonna go to this pond with my buddy Boyd. We're gonna try to catch some uh, big bass. They got some big bass in there. We're gonna be fishing with a frog. Well, I'm gonna fish with a frog. Maybe a swimming jig, cause they got a lot of grass in there. But like I said, I'm in need for a six. That's what I want. This is what this whole series is about. Already thinking about the next series, but we gotta get the bass first. And uh, hopefully sometime this year I catch the big one. I know at some point in time, I keep putting the work in out here, throwing top waters definitely in the summertime and the mornings and the evenings. I know I'm gonna come up with a big one eventually because like I said, I know they got some big ones in here. I've seen them and I've seen people catch a few of them. You know, I ain't seen a ton, ton of them, but I've seen people catch them. What up y'all? I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video, put a comment in, do all that. As you can see, it's hot. I'm sweating. It's, I caught about 20 bass today. Most of them on a crankbait. I caught one on a worm.
on a plum worm, but you just got to try different things. Don't be afraid to lose your baits. That's what a fishing's about. You got to throw it out there. You got to learn. If you fail, then you learn. If you catch fish, then think about that. Just don't stay repetitive on the same technique. But uh, I'm going to catch y'all next time. I'm actually going fishing again later as long as it don't rain. I'm going to the kayak with Boyd. Going frog fishing. And then tonight, I'm going with my daughter. And we're supposed to be going frogging because it's the opening night of frogging. So, hopefully we get some big ones with her. And she can stab them. This is her first time. So, this is going to be pretty comical. Alright, y'all. Y'all have a good day.